So, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I imagine you have many questions, such as, uh, Did Lily Jean really make a video on Curtis Price titled Curtis Price Light? Yes, she did. Did she really try and copyright strike me just because I used a picture of her in my videos? <gasps> yes, she did. Now, do I have a statement, a response to Lily Jean and her mother? Well, yes, I do. It's actually, it's actually in my pocket right here, in fact. Um, scene. Dear Law and Lily Jean, I am deeply sorry. With that said, suck my big fat juicy nuts. <laughs> With that said, you are indeed watching the Curtis Price channel. Wicka wicka woo! <laughs> grab some snacks, grab a beverage, and uh, grab a Welsh cake if you're Welsh, will you? So, my friends, it is time to end this. I will not be seduced by the dark side. Welcome to the Instagram model who fabricated her entire life. Be asking yourselves, Curtis, you're in an awfully good mood today. <laughs> yes, I am. I get more content to provide for you because of Lily Jean. <laughs> so Lily Jean once again can't seem to keep her tantrums to herself. If you haven't seen my previous videos, you'd probably need to check those out before you watch this one, just for some context. However, she is probably a prime example of fake it till you make it. Her career is just as plastic as my prosthetic toe, which I broke doing badass things. And I want to set the record straight. Just because Lily Jean has a million followers on Instagram does not mean she can abuse the copyright system and try to take everyone's videos down, including myself. God. It's the same way I can't abuse the handicap spot because of my broken toe. Hey, it's bad, but we still do it, and it's wrong. But she is seriously on a warpath. And not just her, but her mother also. They have been sending people emails, sending hate tweets, and trying to strike people's videos down. Or in my case, making a video of it. And oh boy, did she leave me in pieces. <laughs> Shit, my prosthetic toe. A tweet from Lily Jean's mother, the real Roxanne. Weird flex, but okay. And now, this is our sight of Mr. Price's conversation. Please note that he did let us all know that someone we all know well on YouTube was the one who knowingly called in a fake sexual assault tip in 2020. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I have been through all of this on Twitter with my viewers and um, I don't have a fucking clue what she's on about. You know, she makes it seem like as if this is her side. I showed the DMs in my video, which was relevant. There is no like side, it's the DMs, DMs are DMs. And she also said that I let them all know that someone we know well on YouTube called in a fake sexual assault tip. I have, I don't have a fucking clue what she's on about. I, I, I'm just... But don't worry, we are gonna be talking about this in a bit. But first of all, I would love to know what Lily Jean's mother's objective is with this, you know, because you try to copyright strike me. You make tweets towards me. And you make videos on me. Is this how you try and assert your dominance over me? Well, unlucky for you, because I'm not a submissive. Yeah, I'll take these flowers, there for you. However, before we actually talk about the video, I would love to know what a civilized conversation between me and Lily Jean's mother would look like. I want to see how civilized we can all be. Let's have a look, huh? Shut up. Fuck you, Sabine. Fuck you. Call her all account that it just rambles in. I hope an anvil falls on your head. Fuck you for breathing. And fuck you for continuing to hurt Lily Jean. Fuck you! Because I'll never stop protecting my child. You emotionless piece of shit! First of all, what a very weird insult. But of course, I should have realized this earlier. Of all the people to own an anvil, wouldn't it be you and Lily Jean? After all, I'm pretty sure she forged a million followers on Instagram. Didn't you, like, forge lies as well? And also forge the video you made on me by unsending messages? Hmm. Oh, that's it. And also, anvils don't fall from the sky, you tit. You know, ladies and gentlemen, uh, they seem so privileged in their tweets when they're attacking someone. Uh, they act like as if they're queens of the kingdom. They act like as if they're walking around with crowns on their head. You're not fucking better than any of us! But since you're princesses, I imagine when you were writing that tweet, you didn't imagine it 
the way we think you did. Fuck you, Sabine. Fuck you, call out account that just rambles in. I hope an anvil falls on your head. Fuck you for breathing. Fuck you for continuing to hurt LJ. My LJ. Fuck you, because I will never stop protecting my child. You emotionless piece of shit. <laughs> Well, that's right, I showed them. <laughs> Get off your high horse, all right? I don't see no crown. I don't see no royalty. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I think we're going to have a look at the copyright claim where they tried to strike all of my videos down. I found this extremely funny and, um, honestly, I pissed my pants. So I think we should definitely read it and, uh, See what you all think. Hello, we received the copyright infringement notification below regarding your videos. We believe your content is protected by fair use, fair dealing, or a similar expectation to copyright protection. We are writing to let you know we do not plan to remove your videos at this time. So there we go. Team YouTube claims that it's fair use, which it is. Now I'd love to know now what the reason is that they thought they were so privileged to try and remove my video. Title of artwork, he is using without permission a photo as a thumbnail that is copyrighted for Lily Jean's website. Type of artwork, photo. Where does the content appear? Custom thumbnail. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Lily Jean's photos on Google are copyrighted. <laughs> Oh, but that's not all, ladies and gentlemen. They've written a little paragraph in the YouTube description claiming that um, apparently I'm cyberbullying her. Now, this is the funny thing, yeah? When you, like, go out of your way to fake things and to continue to victimize yourself, now you, now you right now are coming after me, all right? I am now defending myself. I have been forced to defend myself on my platform because you called me a liar. Even though in the last video I proved you was a liar, which... That doesn't really make sense. This is unacceptable. I have police reports and international reports out on this. See attached. I know that YouTube does not support cyberbullying. Please help us. He has taken from my daughter's YouTube a photo of me and I give him no permission to use my face in his video. They have already doxxed us and I have already been swatted. Nobody should live in this misery. <laughs> now this, this is hilarious. Apparently I doxxed her everyone. I'm sorry, but no point in my video do I remember doxing you. <laughs> maybe I have Alzheimer's, but I don't remember that. Or maybe you're just making things up. You know, seem like the victim. But yes, now is the time to review the video. And oh boy, can I not wait to watch this. It's the moment we've all been waiting for, ladies and gentlemen. Curtis Price Light. Full DMs with Lily Jean. Full DMs with Lily Full. Alright, which means it's all there. Eh, uh, it's not exactly the best start, is it? It's not the best start. Just showing my texts, you know, from the beginning of the conversation and... Oh! Where, where's Lily Jean's messages? Oh my god, they've disappeared! Where could they be? Not the best start that you just show when you've unsent messages, which means... <laughs> they're not full DMs. They're not full. They're not! There I am. Problem is, we don't even know if your boyfriend exists. Lots of people believe he is fictional. See, I'm not accusing. I am giving opinions. Never said. Your boyfriend's fake. Fuck off. Never attacked her in DMs. Nothing. Very civil man I was. And you'll see in a second. And there I am. I will make a video, but I can't promise anything. I'll give both sides and my opinion. Which I did. I give Tati's opinion. Well, Tati's side. Sorry. And I also give Lily's side. And I give my opinion. My opinion was that Lily Jean had no side. Because everything she told me, she was lying. I did say at the end of the video, don't bully her. Which was her side. She didn't want anyone to bully. I told everyone at the end of the video, don't bully Lily Jean. But then obviously this happened. Fucking attack. That's very nice, isn't it? Me coming on here looking like a fucking idiot. Telling people to stop bullying Lily Jean. Meanwhile, she's sending her fans to attack other people. Tatiana's not the victim. Alas, Rich. You know what? I'm literally 40 seconds in and all I can use is this. 
you good bro. Wish you would have just put some music behind it, you know. Would be more pleasant to watch at least. I don't know where she's saying I lied. Okay now ladies and gentlemen, uh, there wasn't much to go off there, just her and sending messages and we're already a minute in. <laughs> Quality content I must say. But now uh, this is after my video's been released and, I, and, and she called me, what'd she call me again? Like a piece of shit or something. I can't remember exactly, but this is me being civilized once again. Because uh, it doesn't affect me like us, but at the end of the day, I let people on my video do what they want with their opinions, as I said. I said, that's my opinion, take from that what you will. And I said, I'd like to know what people think and what their opinions are. Perhaps, maybe, um, if there was actually something that could make your side look better than I would have provided it, then a legal document. And do you see how, what am I supposed to do with that? Am I supposed to just be transparent with everyone, which is what I've done? I told everyone not to leave you hate in the video. I said, don't bully her. Don't send any hate away. But that makes me a better person already, because at the end of the day, I said not to send hate. But you are telling people to, to, to go and hit like people like that, that don't like you. Hey, listen, listen. At the end of the day, of course I'm gonna use DMs. Of course I am. That was the whole point. That was literally the whole point of, of getting your side of the story. Of course I'm gonna include DMs. Why would I not? I'm pretty sure we established that at the beginning that I was gonna use these DMs anyway. I was gonna use this information in the video. And I, you know, at the end of the day, I don't want people to attack you. At the end of the day, like I told you, I like to make videos that make people laugh. Now, it's never good for the people I make videos on, and I don't mean any actual harm by it. Hear that little laugh there? Well, it's funny, it's fucking true. <laughs> I don't cause videos to make harm on people, I do it to make people laugh. I watched the entire thing, I didn't make you all watch it. I don't really get what the point was of that video. There's nothing in this expose video that exposes me. There's nothing. That, that's why I find it funny. Now, you might think that's funny enough, ladies and gentlemen, but you know what was even funnier, right? Is um, that this video had about, I think it was about 500 views and already it had a thousand likes. Hmm. Now who's breaking YouTube policies now? It's like Botton, Laura and Lily Jean. That's false engagement. YouTube doesn't allow that. The likes went up and then they dropped down. I feel pretty privileged right now that I found that out. Actually, it was someone on Twitter that uh, let me know that. Thank you to you if you're watching. Revealed by popular demand. Curtis Price DMG IG interview. What happened in February? You can hear Mr. Price at the end of the video trying to rationalize the video he put out. I was explaining that I tried to make people laugh and I don't want to, any harm to come to you. Rationalize it. Alright, <laughs> whatever you think, you know, whatever floats your boat. <laughs> you use my voice in that video, my voice is copyright. Also comments are turned off. <laughs> but now ladies and gentlemen, it is indeed the time we've been waiting for. We're now gonna have some fun and discuss Lily Jean with my good friend, Jay and Tolly. The wolf in sheep's clothing. The man who's never had sex before. Please welcome. Jay and Tolly. Oh fuck, just tied up Curtis, the things thing that comes up is cuties. Oh, the pedophile one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright Josh, you ready for this? Yeah, one minute, I'm actually trying to type up your fucking name. <laughs> it's your first time on the Curtis Price channel and you're spending time searching me when I'm right in front of you. Yeah, fucking obsessed I am. Yeah, I know. Okay, so welcome ladies and gentlemen to the official collab of the sex god and the world's biggest virgin. Get up! <laughs> now we've got my good brother here, Jay and Tolly. I thought to myself, you know what? I'm gonna give you, Josh, an opportunity to tell all the viewers on the Curtis Price channel why they should subscribe to your channel. You have 10 seconds. I have a massive, massive cut, but then very small balls, so it kind of equals itself out. And I'm, and I'm guessing fun, kind of funny as well. But that, that was, that was, wow. <laughs> so now that we do have Josh on our channel to speak about his experiences, we're first gonna talk about uh, a comment that she left on Josh's video. Uh, which video was it? It was like your newest one, no? Hello? Useless prick. Sorry, Lily Jean to try and kill me at me at the full transit. I don't have to escape. <laughs> but did she leave a comment on your video, yeah? Um, yeah. Which one was? It was your latest one, wasn't it? Oh, it was my latest one where I, uh, you know, a Florida. Uh, it's, it's on my channel, link in the description. Yeah, you'd be lucky to get a link in the description. <laughs> 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 I'll tell you what, you read you and I'll read Lily Jean. Right, let's start. Thank you for all the support on this YouTube video so far. If we could share this around as much as possible, it would mean a lot. Tag me in it, and I'll 100% retweet it. But Lily Jean, I'm waiting on your response. Wink. You do realize that you were reading you, right? Not Lily Jean. Yeah, I, I, know. I know. You made yourself sound so fucking... <laughs> Try 
emailing us. Feel free to respond to me. I know you'll watch this video and I really want to hear your own thoughts. And don't go emailing me or messaging me on Instagram because quite simply, I'll just respond with a meme and then just snub you. Bro, I don't get the time to watch your video. I just saw you whining. Have a great day. But you have plenty of time to copyright strike me, mind. Funny where your priorities lie. Also, tell Laura I said hi. <laughs> Bro, you do videos on our client, and you think that we are not going to look at the content? We don't have to watch it. You are allowed free speech. We are alerted by our software when someone has used content. Period. Let's face it. Would anyone tune in to see you? No. They want to see Lily Jean, and you are using her to make money. So you're in the big boy leagues now. <laughs> Apparently no one would tune in to watch you, Josh. What's your response to that? I mean, I agree. I don't even tune in to watch me, but that's not the point. <laughs> those comments on your video, I mean, she claims that it's, you know, the management commenting those things. Honestly, I've never heard management ever talk that way on a video. Imagine going into Google, right? Gonna get a Google phone if you're that guy. And you go and say, oh, can I have a phone? And they just go, yo, bro, are you all right? <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> Okay, but even though she left that comment on your video, didn't she also email you as well? Uh, sent a message to the copyright system. It is not here valid. Lily Jane's work is being used by this person. It says in her copywriting. That was great, mate. And he has no permission to use it for a cyberbullying video where he makes money. But let's talk about cyberbullying. I mean, do you bully her, Josh? Um, no, 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 seriously, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. It's just funny to make fun of people, I think. Um, makes a change from me making fun of Josh every time, so. Yeah, I mean, Jesus Christ. I mean, First of all, don't say the name of the Jesus Christ in vain, all right? That's sick. Oh, sorry, Jesus. You sound like fucking Lily Jean now, get off your ass. That horse never high to begin with. What is high right now, though? My cock. No, that's fucking weird, I was say Lily Jean's ego. <laughs> You mad bro? Uh, yeah. I said tell me what you mad for. Uh, you mad bro? Uh, 